friends you are welcome to this presentation in this presentation i will be taking you through the steps i took to carry out this modeling all right uh, this is a decagon stadium all right so if you zoom closely and you will notice that uh, i have a series of uh i have a series of uh, platform a series of galleries this is up to seven story okay and i have this provision to be my entrance and a lift wall a lift room here okay so you can see that uh, it is a gallery all through this the seven stories so this is a decagon stadium i want to be showing you how i actually uh, be able to model this successfully all right even including this steel roof so if i navigate to the uh story one navigate to that story one and then i change to plant view you have something of this kind now this is a this is my grid set out uh, this is almost 10 sided polygon so that is why i call it decagon okay it's a 10 sided polygon and uh, this green set out i was able to achieve it in uh, autocad and so i will be showing you what i did in autocad in a minute and so let us dive into autocad right here we are in autocad so this is the grid set out it is from this uh place i uh exported this grid to uh protest structure and i was able to carry out my modeling successfully so if you count the number of sides of this polygon you will notice it is 10 sides if i should count that see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it is ten it is ten sided polygon and i picked polygon from uh, my draw to where i have a uh, where i have a, a rectangle i picked my polygon there i give it a size to be 10 and then i uh, click to enter i pick the first point and then i select a uh, scribe and i was able to have that with some radius okay so this is how i actually set out the grid for that structure okay so after i i was able to do this i have to set my grid layers and i started using pull out my grid layers i pull out my grid layers i scroll down to grid this one i select that i type xl on the keyboard enter i pick the first point and pick the second point right so this is my grid if i should do the same thing i pick this point and that point so this is how i set out the grids that i was having this one this one okay this one and this one including some other ones that are at the circumference of the decagon polygon all right so after that i was able to do some offset in and out for instance i uh, like that or oh, enter offset through uh 4000 by 4000 just like that enter you can see i offsetted it in that was how i have this offset all right so this provisions now is a gallery all right and so this pro this other provisions is not a gallery it's a uniform uh, platform while this site is an inclined platform all right so after setting out the grids i have to just export the grid lines i export this to a uh, protest structure so as you can also see my column i was able to fix my columns here this is in layers okay you can see the layers there are columns okay after fixing it all of that and set it out like this i exported it to proto structure Let's go back to protest structure. 
So here is protal structure again. So these are the grids you can see. This one. Alright. So I was able to place my my slab as well as the beams accordingly after which I use uh, plan definition uh, at the end of this lesson you will see a video that would actually teach you about plan definitions on the left side of this uh, lesson All right so you can just check out to carry out plan definition using this icon this one very well okay so you can see p1 meaning plan 1 p2 plan 2 p3 plan 3 so after almost i've uh, achieved to set out the planes and have my inclines gallery i come straight away to building and then i was able to insert stories up to uh nine stories okay and if i click on this edit storage you will notice that uh you will see the height of my stories half three meter three meter and two meter this two meter at story eight is the height of the columns that picked up the steel roofing all right this one okay so after which i was able to uh generate story I come over to building set out click on generate story right so in the generate story dialog i was able to carry out uh the story generation if i should go back to the 3d again i have this so i was able to carry out the story generations okay and also this is my lift i was able to fix also this lift just in a normal way okay so coming to the room to the roof coming to the roof i actually use a, a thrust to place this roof and how did i place this roof if i should click on this and i should delete this let me say i delete that so i want to fix it back i if i click on this one you click on this this is the stick cross click on that once you click on that you are meant to pick the first point first point and the last point you can see I, it's not prompting me to pick any point uh, because before you can pick a point you must be at that level okay as in your grid lines must be at that level all right so if i want to proceed i'll have to double click on story it to take the grids up there you can see now so after that picked on the crosses and then you can now be able to pick the point so pick that point come straight away to the opposite side to pick the same thing there So you pick this also this point so once that point is being picked it will automatically take you to the trust generator dialog and so in this dialog you will now have to you know select the type of trust for instance i was considering this one okay so after which you selected that one you will also go straight away to the number you can see the number of uh, spans and increase it to 12 right in that side also come to this side and increase it to 12 as well after which you come to the apest vertical uh, offset this this provisions i used uh it was eight thousand right a thousand so i was having something of this kind you can see all right so after which you just click on okay once you click on OK, you notice this will be inserted automatically. You get that, so you can see the one I just uh, placed now. So this is how that is done. And then and I use uh, this other frame process to place around these provisions. OK. So this is just a, a simple, uh, somewhat complex structure. OK, but it is not difficult if you actually follow the steps. 
uh, that I the, uh, demonstrated to carry out this. Once you must have gotten this first one, what you just need to do is to generate it. Once you generate story up to story 7, you will be having this one. Then up to story 8, you will extend uh, these uh, columns to meter so you can be able to carry this uh, steel uh, uh, frames or steel trusses. All right, so this is just a simple uh, polygonal uh, structure, or you can call it a stadium because uh, this is a very massive uh, st structure. You can carry up to uh, thousands of uh, capacities. All right, so this is just a uh, and a walkthrough on this model I that I carry out. All right, so you can tell me what you think about the model. Alright, if you have any question, drop it at the comment sections and see you in the next lesson. And bye for now.